The Very Grumpy Day Look at the cherries. What a perfect day, smiled Mouse, looking out at the sunshine. And goodness, he was right. The birds trilled sweetly and the bees buzzed merrily. I'll take one of these cupcakes to bear, Mouse said. He loves a sweet treat. Mouse tappity tap tapped on Bear's front door, but he didn't know that Bear had just left in a very bad mood. Oh, humph, grumped Bear. These boots are just too big. Bear stomped along so heavily that the ground shivered and shook beneath his feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Hey, cried Mole angrily, popping from his mole hole. Your stomping has made my tunnel collapse. I have to start all over again. He flung down his shovel and had just disappeared into his hole when... Hedgehog tripped over the shovel with a bump. Who left that there? He cried. He roly polied across the clearing, straight into Fox's bottom. Ow! Fox yelped. Watch where you're poking your prickles, Hedgehog. Fox jumped up and his bag flew high into the air. The groceries tumbled out and plopped all over the squirrel family. Splat went the bag of flowers, splosh went the milk, and smash went the eggs all over the baby squirrels. He threw an egg at me. It wasn't me, it was him. My tail isn't fluffy anymore. Be quiet down there, screeched Daddy Owl. You'll wake my chicks. Bicker, squabble, quarrel. Now everyone was in a big, bad mood. Up above, the sky turned dark, a roll of thunder shook the woods, and the rain began to fell, fall. What a terrible day! Stop pushing me! Quick! Oh no, Grump Bear. There's a hole in my umbrella, and my ears are getting wet. Bear's bad mood lasted all the way home. Then suddenly, he spotted something. <gasps> It's a present for me. Bear picked it up and read the note. Oh, how nice, he sniffed. And for the first time that day, Bear smiled. A sweet treat for Bear with love from Mouse. As Bear munched happily on his cupcake, the sky cleared and the flowers bobbed in the breeze. Mole would love these flowers, said Bear. I'll take them over to apologize to him to apologize for stomping on his tunnel. I'm sorry, Mole, said Bear, giving the flowers to his friend. That's okay, said Mole. And for the first time that day, Mole smiled too. I should say I'm sorry to Hedgehog for leaving my shovel in his way, said Mole. He trotted over to his friend's house and gave Hedgehog a huge hug. I'm sorry, Fox. That's okay. The smiles and happiness spread like rays of spring sunshine all through the afternoon. I'm sorry. Thank you. When Mouse looked out his window, the entire woods were ringing with bird song and laughter. Such a happy day, he beamed, racing out to join his friends. And it was.
The end.